Hey guys, it's Jacob with Jacob's Arcade. Uh, today I'm going to be showing off not this 2K or this Golden T, but rather I'm going to be showing off the tool that I use, uh, especially with my games that run off of CRTs, um, to make sure that they're going to last for quite some time. Um, a lot of the CRTs that you're seeing nowadays, they're pushing 25, 30, um, even like with Pac-Man just turned 40 this year. So you might even be running off of an old 40 year monitor that um, again, you just wanna make sure that it becomes preserved and um, really it's getting the attention that it deserves. Um, apologize, I've been on a little bit of a hiatus. Things have just been crazy the last few years with stuff coming in the shop, out of the shop, around the shop. Um, and of course, just with my occupation sometimes, it can be tough to keep up with these videos. So I have some new things that I've acquired over the last few years that I can't wait to show you guys. Um, one of the things that I'm gonna show you today is this degaussing coil, or what's called a degaussing coil. A little bit about, elect, um, really about CRTs, so your cathode ray tube. You're going to have something that's called a flyback. On the back of your games, the flyback pretty much just routes your high electricity and shoots it out as light through your tube onto the front of your game. Now, what happens with all this electricity is that it's gonna stick. It's naturally gonna want to stick on the front of the game. Now, some CRTs are designed to be self-degaussing, meaning that it spreads out or it's able to spread out those different uh, elect uh, elect electrical, uh, don't know what the right word is necessarily, but like electrons, so in the front of the game. Um, what I like to do every about quarter or six months if I can, right now we're in the middle of the country, we're experiencing winter, we had a nice 60 degree day here, which is extremely odd for the middle of January. So I thought it'd be a good time to at least whip this tool out. And what this tool will do, or this degaussing tool will do, is it's designed to almost pull it in like a magnetic field. So it's like a magnet that's gonna pull in the different elect electrons and the different electricity fields that are inside that front part of the monitor, and it's gonna spread it out. The way I almost like to think about it is this, you're almost giving your monitor a massage. If you can think about it that way, um, you know how there's like knots in the muscles and you can just spread it out and it just helps the longevity of the muscle, very similar to the way it does with a CR2 tube. Let me go ahead and show you. So it's gonna look extremely funky. It's almost like if you were to take a magnet and put it on the CRT tube as, or CRT uh, TV like you were a kid, we're pretty much gonna do the same thing. Now my Golden Team monitor, it's in phenomenal condition. And I just like to do this, like I said, about every three, three months to six months, just to make sure that that picture still looks phenomenal. So we're just going to go ahead and click this button and that'll turn it on. There'll be a little bit of a buzz. Okay. And now watch this. So it's really funky. And I like to bring it out a little and stop. Do it one more time. Get really close in there. Okay, pull it out and stop. And what that's designed to do is that's going to send all of that high electricity out and away so you are able to allow your monitor to continue to survive for a long time coming. Um, I picked up my degaussing coil for like 20 bucks on eBay. Um, I know that you can probably get them on uh, different sites. This one is a model, excuse me, 9317 G from GC Electrical. So you can definitely look that up. Um, I'm going to try to make some more videos here in the next coming uh, weeks and months here. Like I said, I've just been under a whole heck of a heap the last few years. So definitely want to make sure that you guys are getting the best experience possible. Um, definitely hit me up if you have any questions or any comments, I'm more than happy to hear those. Um, and in the same time, be well and hope you're having a great day.